Isn't what happens when you let her think the ocean is just a toy? L let me take her. I'll talk to her. That was dangerous. Do you understand? The ocean isn't your pet. It's not a toy, and it doesn't always want to play with you. You can't just give it orders. Oh. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I'm sorry. Just remember, be gentle with the ocean. Very gentle. Look at those brave eyes. Those are warrior eyes. I'd better tell you everything I know. Teach you how to listen to the magic of this island. Fill you up with smarts until your tummy gets around. Fat, fat, fat. <laughs> now, maybe a story about Maui? Maui! <laughs> this is Maui, the greatest navigator of all time. Away. This race is boys only. I see no reason for that. I've already beaten the middles. Everyone beats the middles, but this time I'm getting Waka Row. Not if I get there first! <laughs> ah, look at Waka Row go! But is that Rongo right behind him? <laughs> I knew he'd amount to something. Oh, thanks, Papa Chief. But no, sitting this one out, had some bad tarot. Then who is... Moana? I'm gonna be on that walk up tomorrow. Nothing's getting in my way. <laughs> what about that rock? <laughs> That was a good race. Your sons tried their best. It will be my honor to be your second on the voyage to Tefiti. You weren't supposed to be in that race. It was for your brothers. You know you're not allowed to sail past the reef. You could have been hurt. Oh, I know, but I wasn't. That's my point. I just beat everybody out there and I'm fine. See, I told you I'm a navigator, like Maui, like you. Look behind you. That is what kind of navigator you are. A reckless one, dangerous, irresponsible. A real navigator doesn't leave destruction in his wake. Uh, hey, Dad, uh, she's actually pretty good. Stay just... out of this, Wakaroa. Uh, Dad, I've been watching you build that waka and plan this voyage my whole life. I've been waiting for this. Please, I was born to navigate. I want to find Tefiti. Take me with you. I have to be on that boat. Wakaroa wins. <gasps> When I'm gone, you can use my boat all you want, okay? <laughs> Slight warning, though. That's kind of Hey Hey's favorite spot. <laughs> Take good care of my baby sister, will you, Maui? Oh, 
Moana. What are you doing? Petting the ocean. Grandma Tala says I have to be gentle with it. <laughs> oh, one's not eating. Come over here. Be useful. Lean back. Help dip the sail. Oh, be still. You move too much and the boat will stall. Dad, how come we only go to the same three islands? Well, because there's only three islands to go to. What if there are more? There are no more. Grandma Tala says we didn't used to just sail from here to there getting chickens. Back during the Great Migration, we used to voyage for thousands of miles discovering new lands. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be a navigator, like Maui. Find a new island. Listen to me, little one. We haven't voyaged in a thousand years for a reason. Past the horizon is the edge of nowhere. After that, there's nothing. You mean there's only ocean? There's nothing. So clouds? Nothing. Stars? Oh, everything that was there is gone. A powerful land spirit named Teppo destroyed it all. She consumed it. That can't be right. Grandma Tala says there's a land to the east called Tefiti. She says our ancestors told us about it. Your grandmother doesn't know everything. Yes, she does. Leave him alone. You can't make him eat. to find where you're going, you have to know exactly where you are. That's easy. I'm right here. <laughs> Clever. Today's lesson. How many steps to the Grand Folly? A lot. Six hundred? Go find out. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> you count. Little beads until a big bead. Every 68 steps. One, two, three, four, 924, 925, 926, 927. <laughs> now, count them again. And this time, pay attention to your island. Learn to hear what it's trying to say. Memorize every single step. <sighs> this doesn't feel like navigating. <laughs> When you listen to the world, it tells you what to do, where to go. Not just your eyes. Use your ears, your nose, your memory. Only when you are completely still can you be in two worlds at once. Matai Basa, first ancestor of Motunui, the navigator who discovered our island, and he was married to Toka. Ow! You're pulling too tight. So you'll remember. You can't count all your ancestors using fingers and toes. You need every little strand on your tender head. <laughs> Remember, to get to where you need to be, call out who came before you. From Mataivasa all the way to... To Soba, my grandfather. What was he like? He loved the sea, like you do. He wanted to explore every drop of it. He came home smelling like 
inside of a fish. <laughs> the stinkiest hugs. But one day, his boat came back to shore empty. He's gone. And your father became the chief. But your grandfather visits me in the water. He comes to me as a shark. Very handsome. And I will visit you someday as a manta ray. Big, flappy arms. <laughs> <laughs> How long would it take you to walk to that waterfall? Ugh, Grandma Tala, no more counting, no more walking. How far away is Tafiti? Can you tell me that? This shouldn't even be a discussion. I completely agree. I have an entire village to deal with, but you are my main concern. I'm only telling her the truth. We have to voyage past the reef. We can't keep this island going forever. If we stay here, we will become extinct. I'm making sure Moana knows our history for when I'm gone. She's our future. That doesn't mean she has to be the one to voyage. She should be afraid of the edge of nowhere, not considered a challenge. Why aren't you proud of her bravery? She asks the right questions. I've seen things. She is different. So you want her to go out there and die? Like father did, like the others did hundreds of years ago. You'd really let her do that? Nobody is going to let that girl do anything. Moana will contribute to this village like everyone else. That is her future. If she wants to be on a boat, she can go to the Far Island for chickens and pigs. But no more talk of navigating. So says your chief. Fine. But this is small thinking and fear talking. So says your mother. Moana! <laughs> How many times must I tell you? We stay within with... Within the reef. I did. But you clearly tried to... I didn't. Moana... Dad... You know it's Tapu. Forbidden. What I know is that reef is a barrier. No, Lautama. It's a shield that keeps us safe. The same way I, as chief, protect this village. And as your father, I protect you. But don't you ever wonder what might... No! There is nothing out there but a swallowing sea. Trust me, Moana, no one who sailed out has ever returned, including your grandfather. I... I won't lose another member of my family to the deep. You will stay in the lagoon. 
You will, you will respect my rule. Huh? But I always do. Did your grandmother teach you that knot? I taught myself. You can tether the wind, Dad, but you can't tame it. That's what I'm afraid of. You've more wind between your ears than in your sail. <sighs> can't you make this canoe go faster? This pace, by the time we reach the village, you'll be full grown. Which might be a good thing. Funny. Yesterday, you said I was growing up too fast. <laughs> Welcome to the underworld. Whoa. There it is. The cavern of the curator. Let's go get my hook. <gasps> ah! You do not want to touch that. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Princess. Try to keep up. <sighs> Shh. Just our luck. Walu the Wicked probably wouldn't be too happy to see me since I, uh, sort of killed her. Killed her? Did. Did I forget to mention that the underworld is where all the fallen demons and monsters go? Pretty sure you left that part out. Just, just be quiet. We'll be fine. Touch the urchins. <laughs> you gotta be more careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting any of that. <laughs> Saying the same thing louder doesn't make it any easier to understand. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the mighty Maui. <laughs> <laughs> 